Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the press conference today. I'm Robert Antosi, Acting Chairman of the Board of Directors for Virginia Amateur Sports. Um, I'd like to recognize some members of the boards of the directors who are here today. We have Alan Peters, Tom Dolan. Alan, where are you? Tom, right here. Randy Smith, Sam Morazzo. Or are you Sam back? Very important fellow. Uh, for the past 26 years, Virginia Amateur Sports has had an extremely good relationship and actual partnership with the media. So it feels good today to have you guys part of this press conference, which is of course natural, but uh, it's a very healthy relationship. We look forward to continuing. Thank you. Um, this press conference today is, is, is we're having uh, because we are providing some insight to a, a collaboration, a union of organizations that are, are committed to supporting uh, amateur athletes all across the state of Virginia as they pursue their excellence in competition. And as acting director of the board of directors and on their behalf, I would like to sincerely uh, thank and appreciate Liberty University and the city of Lynchburg for their collaboration in, and their efforts to get us where we are today as we move forward into an exciting new endeavor. So thank you. And with that, uh, you need a little bit more detail and specifics into the, what this collaboration looks like. And at this time, I'll turn the mic over to Pete Lamon, who is president of Virginia Amherst Sports. Thank you. Every time I come over here, the sun's shining. So thank you very much. It's been a while. As Bob mentioned earlier, this is an exciting time for Virginia Amateur Sports in the Commonwealth Games of Virginia. Give you a little history on Virginia Amateur Sports. We're a nonprofit organization based in Roanoke, Virginia. We started in 1989, and our first games were in 1990. We have a statewide board of directors, a staff of four. This is dependent on the community, the sponsors, the local governments. In the past, it's been the city of Roanoke, the city of Salem, and Roanoke and Bob Todd counties. More than 1,000 volunteers and 60 plus volunteer co sport coordinators. The local parks and recreation departments and other organizations and businesses that have allowed us to provide 26 years of excellence to more than 225,000 athletes and their families since the first games were held in 1990. As an almost native Lynchburger, I lived in Lynchburg for nearly half my life. I have continued to be amazed at the development and growth of the state-of-the-art facilities and student population every time I drive through here on 460 or on Wards Road. I have to admit, I try to stay off of Wards Road. There's construction abounding. I actually feel like I'm driving in Hampton Roads shipyard at times with all the cranes moving building materials for new structures, dormitories, sporting facilities, and venues in the new Freedom Tower. My wife and I are riding over here today, and I said, when's the last time you've been over? She says, it's been two or three years. And look at this. <laughs> they were working on those buildings, and now they're up. She said they were beautiful, and they are. Well done. I can remember officiating in the Schilling Center and having time to stop the games because we had to clean the floors because of all the student traffic that was coming and going. Now I see six degree programs, 15 schools and colleges, 20 Division I teams with 140 conference champions, 35 club teams, and an ever-expanding intramural program. We have a video we'd like to show you to kind of tell you what the games are going to be all about. So if this time we could clip that on, it'd be great.
That's who Liberty is, and that's who we will be this 2016. I can't believe we can find a better host than Liberty University in the city of Lynchburg to host the next five years of the Virginia Commonwealth Games, presented by our new title sponsor, Liberty University. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to provide our athletes the chance to compete at a Division I school and empowering them to dream big. I am proud to take this opportunity to say, announce the 2016-2020 Games will be officially known from today forward as the Virginia Commonwealth Games presented by Liberty University. At this time, I'd like to introduce Jerry Farwell, the president of Liberty University, who's gonna say a few words. Thank you, Pete. We are so excited to uh, finally make this announcement. I'm probably the worst person in the world at keeping secrets. And so for me to keep this under the, under the hat as long as I have has been a real challenge. And I was so glad, Kim, to see it was the mayor that couldn't keep a secret this time. <laughs> Not me for a change, so, so thank you, Mayor Gillette. But we, uh, we, we're just so excited about this new partnership with Virginia Amateur Sports, the city of Lynchburg. Randy Smith came to work here early part of this year and met with me. The first thing that he shared with me was his vision that one day we would have the Commonwealth Games here at Liberty and in Lynchburg, and you know, we've spent the last decade building the facilities, the athletic facilities, the recreational facilities. Lee Beaumont's here. He's had a lot to do with creating all the intramural facilities in addition to the NCAA sports that Jeff Barber has played such an important role in. And we, we w wanted to find a way to share these facilities with the local community, with the state, and, and not just keep it all to ourselves. And so we thought this was the perfect opportunity to bring these games to Lynchburg, to share our facilities with, with the Commonwealth Games and with, with the general public. And so we, um, we just could not be more happy. Our, our dining facilities are ranked some of the best in the country now, our housing. We've gotten, it's, we've gotten to the point now where we, we are, are able to, to accommodate this in a way that's, that's um, first rate for everything you're trying to do. And we thank you for for uh, working with us to, to make this a reality. And, and uh, we think the location here close to the mountains, the James River with, with all the facilities here on campus, the centrally located, or Lynchburg central location in the state of Virginia, it's easy to get here from all parts of the state. And, and um, we just couldn't be more, more excited and more proud to be host for these games. And thank you all for being here today. Take this opportunity to introduce the Vice Mayor of Lynchburg, Mr. Caesar Johnson. Good afternoon, everyone. First, let me extend uh, greetings on behalf of regrets on behalf of our mayor, Dr. Michael Gillette, that he could not be here this afternoon due to prior engagements and he let the cat out the bag, so uh, he, so we are, we're gonna be, I'm happy to come in his stead. It is always a pleasure to be on the campus of this great university, and today is no exception. Today's announcement is wonderful news. Lynchburg is a sport loving, and having the Commonwealth Games come here to this community is outstanding. Uh, my thanks to the Virginia Amateur Sports on making such a fantastic decision to come to a great place to live, work, and play. My thanks also to President Farwell for having the vision and willingness to become a partner in this venture. With world-class facilities, Liberty University, is, it is a perfect fit for athletes, officials, parents, and fans. And I must say, Mr. President, if you're going to uh, be bringing these games to Lynchburg, I want you to have our official pen on right under that ALU pen. I want you to have uh, Lynchburg. Sure. Do that, do that. 
Do that, do that. I, I, I'll wear it proudly. It's a, it'll be a great day. I, I almost wore my red bow tie that I had just for the occasion when uh, the both sport teams, women basketball teams, went off. And I knew I was pitching in for the marital day. I would have had it in my bag to bring out this afternoon. But let me say, uh, amateur sports play a huge role in the development, uh, developing healthy lifestyles and inspiring wellness and competition. For the past several years, this community has been involved in a Live Healthy initiative and VSA's mission to promote awareness and benefits of physical fitness and healthy lifestyles through sports education, training, and competition is a perfect fit for us. So we look forward to watching these great athletes compete, and we again welcome you to our great city of Lynchburg, and we hope that you go a little further than five years since uh, I just want to share this with you before I leave. Uh, I just came from the Virginia Municipal League's annual conference, and there were a couple of councilmen from the Star City, councilwoman and a man, but I'm not going to call any names, uh, talking about this coming to the city. And I, I just had to tell them, you're just not Lynchburg and you're just not liberty. So come and enjoy the games from the Star City to the Hill City. We beat you once again. And I want to share that. I, I want to share, I want to share, I want to share with you all that. It, I'd be remiss if I had the podium this long and did not acknowledge that uh, one of my fellow council members here, Turner Perro, and I'd like him to stand. He's a great friend of mine. And thank you, Turner. So again, we thank you all, Pete uh, Lambert, for coming, bringing the games here. Uh, and know that Lynchburg is open and welcome to any sport you got. And see if you got anything for a 50-year-old to compete in. Thank you. Before you sit down, we do have plenty of events for 50 and up to participate in. So go back to our website, look where you can register, where you can play, and what events you want to participate in. We have one for you, I promise. The Virginia Amateur Sports is a member of the National Congress of State Games, an organization comprised of 31 state summer games and 10 winter games organizations. The National Congress of State Games is a member of the United States Olympic Committee, Committee's Multi-Sport Organizational Council. State games were modeled after the Olympic Games, with the state games providing a motivational goal for all athletes within their state in which they organize. The Virginia Commonwealth Games presented by Liberty, and that sounds great. Isn't that just wonderful? We'll continue to show the traditional values and traditions of the Olympics by awarding gold, silver, and bronze medals to the winners, the holding of opening ceremonies, and the lighting of the torch. Our version of another time-honored event of the games is being held here today with the passing of the torch from one title sponsor, Subway, to another title sponsor, Liberty University. Robert Adams, the Subway, president of Subway Co-op in Roanoke will be passing the torch on to Jerry Fowler, the president of Liberty University. And yeah, be careful. <laughs> what a great tradition. Thank you very much. In your packets, in closing today, in your packets there's additional information on Virginia Amateur Sports, a question and answer sheet that will hopefully answer a lot of questions that you may have on our move to Liberty University and Lynchburg. As you can see the facilities, I think it's, it's a no-brainer. Liberty University in the city of Lynchburg has created a partnership that lends stability to the games, as well as a fresh jolt of excitement and energy for Virginians across the Commonwealth. Virginia Amateur Sports and the Virginia Commonwealth Games presented by Liberty will bring a new economic engine to the city of Lynchburg in the form of tourism dollars. I think athlete participation may be enhanced due to the central location of Lynchburg being closer to Richmond, Northern Virginia, and Hampton Roads, and being on the Liberty University campus, a Division I university with a state-of-art sporting facilities will be very attractive to potential participants. This move will also provide new opportunities for our sponsors who may be interested in developing a partnership with Virginia's largest multi-sport festival held in Virginia each year, like Papa John's, who just recently signed on as our newest presenting sponsor. Yes. A new chapter in the legacy and history of the Virginia Commonwealth Games at Liberty University begins today. With a torch burning brightly, with a warm, exciting glow, it will carry us on for the next 25 years. Thank you very much, and again, thank you Liberty University and the city of Lynchburg for bringing the games to Roanoke, to Lynchburg, excuse me, 
and uh, it's old home times for me. And I'm look, I saw a couple friends I haven't seen in 50 years, Bill, <laughs> as it be. And uh, thank you very much for having us. And we're really looking forward to another 25 years. I promise I won't be here that long, but I'll be here for some of those years. Thank you very much again. Thank you very much. That concludes our press conference at this time. Uh, have some uh, drinks and hors d'oeuvres and what have you, and thank you very much. We can do that. Probably uh, May, June. Uh, Subway uh, had talked to us about they were going in another direction to, uh, in their management and their funding, what they were going to be able to su support in the future. And then we, uh, Liberty University came on as a, a new title sponsor that, you know, that brought Liberty and the city of Lynchburg on board. Uh, there's, a, there's a number of events we'll probably, we're still working on all those, those events, but uh, I know like the Master Swimming will be still held up in Christiansburg and some other events. Uh, uh, we're just working on all those details right now. As I said, we're working on those details right now. Very similar to what we received from the, uh, the Roanoke Valley governments. Uh, this public knowledge, you can, uh, we'll be able to look it up as, as you go back home. I'm telling you, we're going to look those up as, as an opportunity for you to, uh, you know, we're a public organization and you can go from there. That's correct. Look at the facility. <laughs> it says it all. We did not. But these are world-class facilities. There's an opportunity for us to bring the athletes over to a great opportunity to compete on a world-class venue. I don't think that indicates that at all. These are all brand new facilities, state of the art, just being built from year to year. I mean, go out there and take a tour of the campus and you'll see everything that they have to offer. So what, what was the main emphasis for moving then if, if it wasn't facilities? It was mostly the facilities and having the title of sponsors, Liberty University. Why did you charge, decide to change the name of the Commonwealth Games? Because of the title of sponsor. <laughs> Uh, how, did, how did you pick the, the logo you're losing, using? It looks a lot like Villanova's logo. I don't know about Villanova's logo. I have no idea what that looks like. <laughs> it was designed by a number of people and it looks really good. Bill? Uh, by, the, by the end of five years, what percentage of the games do you think will be able to be held in Lynchburg? I think mean, it really uh, depends, I guess, if Liberty keeps adding on like they're doing now. I would say probably 80 to 90 percent. What do you expect this next year? How many, what percentage will be here? I'd probably say, you know, 60, between 60 and 80, maybe more. Thank you very much again for all uh, your attendance today, and we're looking forward again to 2016 through 2020 and the new legacy starting. Thank you.